Today I want to talk about something that is very simple, very basic, but also can be absolutely terrifying and a little bit of a stalling thing for some people. Today I want to talk about building your website. Now I'm not talking about your website for you as a, um, for a company or for a product. I want to talk about your personal website. First of all, do you need a website? Well, um, Generally speaking, I think that everybody needs some sort of web presence that talks about them as a person. Yesterday I was talking to a woman who is a rock star, has a wonderful background in uh, real estate and mortgages and understands things that I could never understand. And she's going to be building a product that will solve a solution for that industry. It's very exciting. And although I wanted to start by branding her product, I really encouraged her to go back and brand herself first because all of us need to be considered experts in our industry in order to raise money, get new clients, build credibility, be asked to speak at events, become a thought leader. So for all those reasons, yes, it is important that you have your own brand. Now, it doesn't have to be a big complex website. So the good news is this can be very simple. Um, my website, as you can see, right behind me has a giant picture of my face. Yes, this looks like I am really egocentric. However, that is what I want to talk to you about today. My website, although small and simple, has gotten a lot of comments from people saying, I love what you do, I love your website, but really what they say is, from your website, I learned that you are a brand strategist and you can help me in these four ways. And then they basically tell me what they can get from me. And that is awesome. I consider that to be a win. So I want to tell you how to build your own website that will be simple, easy, and easy to understand and contact you from. Step number one of building your own branded website is have a killer picture at the top. I'm not talking about that old school white background you cut out, putting your hands like this, standing on the side going, Christy Harner is the best. I'm talking about a lifestyle shot. Are you a developer? Get a picture of you at your computer, make it fun and developers a little more casual. Um, if you're a freelance consultant and you're wanting to help people, maybe speaking events, helping them with business coaching or lifestyle coaching, do a picture of you at an event. Make sure the picture's focused on you, but show you in action. Um, if you're a designer, one awesome thing you could do would be showing you designing a logo or wearing a really cool t-shirt, kind of like this, something that shows your personality. Um, what I want really in this photo is something that shows what you do when you're in action. This will allow the person that comes to your website to feel like they already understand who you are and they get you and they know where you're coming from and what you can do for them. So that's the first thing is a killer picture at the top. I recommend you get a professional photographer to do this. I have one I absolutely love and recommend to people if you're in Charlotte. But no matter what, you get a professional photographer to work on this picture with you. The second thing you need to do is have a title. Now, this title should not just be something silly. Like, I know that, you know, chief, chief cool officer is great. Um, you know, whatever you want to call yourself. But for this website, what you need to do is make sure that you have your name. So let's say Christy Harner. Um, and underneath that, you have the title that you want people to use in order to hire you. You want something that people think, oh, I want that, this person to be this title in my company, whether it's a hire, a freelance consulting gig, whatever. So if you're a developer, you want it to be a senior developer, or you can have it more specific to the type of development that you want to focus on. If you're a lifestyle coach, you want it to say lifestyle coach or experienced lifestyle coach. If you're like me, I wrote chief creative or chief strategy officer. I, I can't actually remember which one it is at the top, but I change it based on what I would like to be hired as. So this is very important. Then after that, you need to write three to four things in a very basic columns, one, two, three, or one, two, three, four of the things that you can offer people. So what I say is basically doing what they can get from you, right? So now they know your title and how they can hire you. They know what you look like. They know what you look like in action, but now they need to understand the three to four things you can solve for them. So for me, I put down marketing strategy. Uh, capital raising, fundraising help, 
then um, the brand strategy, and then technology help. So those are the four ways that I can consult with your company. This has worked tremendously in allowing people to hire me properly for the right skills. It's very important that you do this, and underneath those, you list very simple things that will allow people to know exactly why they would hire you. The next thing, so there's really only six things that you need, six. The next thing is, what you've done it, who you've done it for before. So let's say that you want to be a market strategist. Well, have you done it for anyone? Now, if you haven't, uh, I recommend this. Go out right now, find a friend of yours who needs help and do the work for free. Just get it done. Building a portfolio does not have to be complicated. So this is step number one, get someone to let you do something for them in the exact area that you want this skill, um, to have this skill. So once you do that, or if you have a portfolio piece, put it up there, explain how you worked on this project for somebody and show what you did. That will allow people to say, oh, okay, she or he does this, they did it for X and now they can do it for me. So basically you're giving them an example of why you're awesome. And the last thing, cause I lied, it's actually only five things you need is a very, very easy call to action. So this call to action would basically say, contact me or use me as a consultant or um, reach out to me to help you with your next project or do you have a project that you need a quote on? Whatever it is, make sure it's very specific to you. Sometimes contact me, they might not know why they would contact you. So you need to say something like, hire me to be your whatever and that will allow them to understand a clear cut message of what it is they would hire you for. Again. I know this sounds very clear cut, I say that a lot, but I want people to understand exactly why they're there and if you can help them. So, killer picture, title, what you can do for them, who you've done it for in the past, and a clear call to action so they can contact you. Those are all the things you really need on your website. You, you could use a blog, that's great. You can have links to your social media, that's great. You can have links to your portfolio, definitely great. But those are the things that you need in order to establish an online brand that people can go to, understand, and react to. So good luck, and that's all for today. And um, check back again for more branding strategies, and I hope this was helpful. Thanks very much.